Hi, Bruce from Safari, and we're going to do a complete walkthrough of this uh, Adria uh, motorhome that's uh, on the Ducato here, and we'll start with the solar on top. What we've got on top of the Ducato is a single 400 watt panel. Notice how we've sculpted it around the uh, bathroom vent there, and it's just sitting uh, very nicely uh, inside the antenna there. Uh, and that 400 watt panel there, uh, sun power, highly efficient, probably about the best uh, that, we, that can be provided. We have it um, screwed on to the awning on that side, and then we've just got it sickered on this side, so um, it won't be going anywhere. Now let's go and have a look at the back. So the task here at the back was to uh, remove the gas bottles and uh, the gas cooktop, but to get the whole power plant in where the gas bottles were. So we filled in the floor for a start, and uh, then we've got our three 200 amp hour lithium batteries here. You can see up on top of that, we've got the CAN cables up there, 3000 watt inverter on the top. Um, the solar breaker is just here for the roof solar, solar controller, and uh, the turbo down here. Main isolator here, and up here is a fan. And we've got our, it's a 48 volt fan, and we've got our own proprietary uh, temp system just in here, it's a temp sensor, I've got my finger on there, and that will come on automatically, so we're not using the software driven off the batteries, we're running it uh, independently, and uh, uh, it keeps this, means this can be totally closed, and the uh, fresh air is coming in through the vent at the bottom, and going out into the cavity behind. So there was no other change in the back here, let's go and have a look inside in the front. Now inside in the front, Customer wanted the all-electric kitchen, so the complete bench top was removed and replaced. That's a new one. You'll see it sort of matches, uh, I'd say, perfectly. And um, we put in a double induction in there. Um, so we're currently it's a 2,000 watt. It's 1,800 here, 1,500 here, but limited to 2,000. If you put something on the front here, it will reduce the power on the back so that it balances out. Um, the wiring in the van uh, limited this. It was uh, limited to uh, 10 amps coming into this area here. Now the no change at all to the aircon, uh, no change um, in the seat area at all, but let's have a look underneath the seat. And it's in the front seat area where all the smarts are to be honest. Um, so we take down this front cover here and what you see in here is uh, there's our Scotty tucked in there and it's connected, you can see the 48 volt positive and 12 volt positive here, and its output is connected on the 12 volt side to the previous battery system that was installed in underneath here. We've added in a smart shunt up here, this is just so that I can see the pin voltages, and um, we're still using the isolator here on the 12 volt side. So uh, this is now taking power coming in on, the, on this lead here, which comes in uh, from the uh, batteries under here in the alternator. This vehicle's fitted with a 200 amp alternator and uh, that comes into Scotty and then comes out on the other side. And uh, let's have a look again at the power that we're able to pull uh, from Scotty. So we've got the water boiling away here to pull down the load. We're pulling out uh, 2000 watts out of the battery, 1896 there, 1900. Uh, that's maximizing the solar power coming in, 173. It's quite early in the morning here at the moment. It's just after nine in winter. And now I'm going to start the engine and let's have a look at the DC power. Tricky being a one man <laughs> demo. Uh, let's have a look. Power's now ramping up. So we're now at uh, 15, 1600, 1700. I'm not sitting in the driver's seat. I'm not revving it up anymore than uh, just standard idle and there we are doing 2145 watts so we've had a few questions on this on the since the last youtube video so that power that's coming in there is all coming out from uh, this device here scotty in the front and it will get to about 50 degrees c maybe a little bit cooler because we're in the air conditioned cab uh, radiates the heat out and it's a dc to dc this is what I call the asset test. Uh, we've got the aircon running, you can see in the watts there, the 2649. We've got the induction on uh, uh, boiling here, it's just come to the boil. And uh, we're just gonna turn that down to a setting of five. And now I'm gonna turn on 
the uh, boiler again down here. What we see now is that the lines will surge 3600 watts on a 3000 watt inverter. Uh, it is showing an alert, that flashing red that you see there where my finger is. Um, but the Victron inverter is able to cope with that for a short period of time. The induction here is boiling its head off and the aircon is going like uh, crazy in the background. So uh, that will now, the induction cycles. So now it's cycled down and while it's cycled down, the inverter you see is recovered um, and it doesn't miss a beat. So we've still got the water here boiling away. Got the aircon on and we've got the hot water is uh, turned on inside. This is a great example of the all electric kitchen and this is now just the norm for the future. Absolutely no LPG at all. How good is that?